This is a nice signal on the Simplex Lite, a 68. I'm running it right now in park mode, and I think that's where I'll stay. But if you want to go a little bit deeper on the Simplex Lite, I would suggest possibly running it in field mode. I think you get slightly better depth in field mode. So, first signal of the day. That's an okay way to start out the day. It's just a zinc penny. Let's see if we can do a little bit better than that, hey? It is Thanksgiving Day, after all. Can we be a little bit thankful for the zinc pennies? <laughs> I appreciate the pennies, man. Sometimes I come out here and there's not even like any signals to find. Those aren't my favorite days. This one sounds okay. 30, 34. Not the biggest fan of the pinpoint, but it will work actually. Just that sound to my ears, no. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a pretty good day today. Uh, yeah, today is Thanksgiving day. I don't know if uh, you'll be watching this on Thanksgiving day or possibly another day. The odds are probably another day. So hope you guys had a pretty good Thanksgiving and hope you guys are actually having a pretty good day today too. So may not be happy Thanksgiving, but what it can be is Happy days, hey? Happy days. <laughs> Still down in there, actually. Not too bad on the depth. Feels like there's a rock or something down there. It's out. Okay, it's actually pretty good for the park, man. Two coins in a row. 1985 Jefferson nickel right there. Beautiful day down here in Florida too, getting some like nice breeze. Uh, sun is not completely blazing down, which is always beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'll give you guys a little bit of a look at the sunshine, huh? Are you tired of seeing my legs? Do you want a little visual? <laughs> Pretty nice sunshine out there though. Some sprinklers running out in the field, so... Might not really be getting rain, but... <laughs> ground is at least getting watered today, so... I was gonna be like an iron signal, that like low grunt sound. Nothing too crazy. Let's see what we're working with out here. It's usually something that'll kind of stop you in your tracks. Anything that sounds like squeaky like that, you know? Maybe two right there. 60s. I'm thinking possibly two. Let's see what we're working with. Yeah, it's a nice day to be at the park though. I'm definitely not the only one down here. We got some others enjoying the park as well. What do you guys think this is gonna be? Anybody out there with the Simplex? Let me know in the comments if you are using any variety of Simplex. Simplex Plus, Simplex Lite, Simplex BT. If not, let me know what else you're using if you guys want. It doesn't have to be a Simplex. Sometimes, though, I do like the simplicity of the Simplex. Just works good, you know? Especially at the parks. No! Decent depth on that one, realistically. It's a crusted zinc penny. Not my favorite find ever. Probably not your favorite find either, but... Gotta get through them sometimes. Now, would you guys dig up this other one right next to it? I wonder what you would say. Cause this is like a very similar signal so it's probably just a repeat 66 the odds are it's a repeat of the last pop a little plug on it ah, beautiful yeah i gotta get a little bit more comfortable at the parks though like i can tell i feel myself like I guess I get maybe a little bit, is it self-conscious? <laughs> People are walking by, you know, passing judgment. I guess you just gotta not care, but especially when I'm talking my, to myself, I feel really uh, sometimes uncomfortable. Whole group of people walking on by. And look here, I think actually in park mode now, listen to this, I'm 28 sensitivity, but I hear a little something squeaking through there. Pump it up to 30. Oh yeah, it's hitting on it a lot better at 30. And now how about field mode? I'm telling you, field for depth, 27 sensitivity. 
IDing it very well too, 78. It's kind of impressive. Look at the target ID on that, 78, 79. How about park? 76, 77. Stop swinging over it and just dig it up, man. <laughs> That's how you guys are feeling, right? So a couple inches down, honestly, for like having a small elliptical coil like this, I feel like this machine is really good for the price. I try not to be like a fanboy of any company, but I've always had good luck with my simplexes. As long as you can get past the, uh, the sound of them, because I know they're not everyone's favorite sound, like sounding machine, you know? It's another Copper Penny 1978. Is it a rare one? Very unlikely, but I did hear that there's some very rare and valuable, uh, like modern coins out there, you know, errors and whatnot. So, might have to keep your eye out. You think you're just pulling up a modern penny and it turns out to be that $10,000 penny that everyone's been looking for. The odds of that happening are probably about impossible. <laughs> That's a really nice sound right there. Kind of inconsistent though, it might be slightly bigger. Sure, why not? Right towards the top. Uh oh, I just felt it under there. What is that? What in the heck is that? Oh, I know exactly what that is. Or wait, do I? <laughs> uh, is that part two? A belt, I guess? Any information on there? Reminds me of like a belt of some type. I don't know. Weird, man. Some weird stuff gets out here. That's kind of what I like about parks. They might not have the best stuff, but they always have stuff. Like compared to a lot of the beaches out there, beaches just get so picked clean consistently. While you can find some really good stuff at beaches, I'm telling you, parks, if your county allows metal detecting at parks, there's always going to be stuff to find there. This one was kind of a low conductive signal in the 20s. 20s is gold range on the simplex, so I continue digging up the aluminum foil, you know, for the chance at some gold. You pretty much have to. You don't have to, but what's that? A little circular piece of metal jewelry or says something on there. P-M-E? I do not know small piece of assorted metal <laughs> see if we can get something a little better than that probably a piece to a vape uh, I guess we'll go for that one 67 Weaker though. <laughs> and got it in here. Got a couple walkers again. Walkers and gawkers. <laughs> That's like a shield penny, crusty. Fill that bad boy in again. Honestly, ready to like get a little bit out of this zone. There's too many people walking by. I guess I should just not care, right? I need to learn to not care. I guess to train yourself to not care, you just have to be uncomfortable more, right? Is that how you train yourself to not care? Let's go for this one. A little bit more bouncy, but it's kind of landing in that sweet zone, you know, that sweet coin zone. You can really get familiar with coins out at your modern parks too. If you don't like digging a lot of trash, you can get pretty familiar and go around basically just looking for coins. If that's your preference, you know, or maybe you're just getting tired of digging up nothing for nothing but junk. Then sometimes it's a good idea to like, you know, relax and just go for some of those coin signals. You can at least guarantee yourself a couple dollars, a couple cents at least, right? There's a dime. 
a dime just in time all right i'm gonna go finish up my hunt in a slightly different location i'm not sure how long we've been on simplex getting a little bit squeaky <laughs> all right that certainly could be the gold ring but it's another 67 so the odds are it's probably another penny but i just heard now mm, it could be a quarter sounding a little bit crackly for a second hope it's not a bottle cap please don't be a bottle cap where is it oh i but i heard it though i wasn't very sure that it was a quarter right i think i mentioned that i said i hope it's not going to be a bottle cap it sounded kind of crunchy at first so even the little 200 dollars simplex light you can kind of and there was iron next to it you can kind of tell the difference in bottle caps i think it depends on the bottle cap too eh. listening for those crisp ones right now you know right underneath here this is like a little uh kind of like a pull-up station i guess find coins occasionally through here just listening for like the crisp ones though like i said not gonna risk it all on the scrappy ones really especially on a time constraint listen to that one sounds a little bit crisper sounds a little different you know like the tone it just it sounds i don't know how to describe it like snappier almost sounds like a more solid signal now what is it all of the solid signals they love to be nonsense so it's right there what is it you ask ah our old friend at the park you're gonna have to learn to love these things as well as pull tabs and pennies if you want to do any type of park metal detecting though that's a lighter flint wheel one of our best friends at the park like those are the most common finds aluminum foil can slaw pennies pull tabs and like just pieces of metal off of like <laughs> assorted things you know okay i said i was gonna go to a different spot oh 67 right there i guess we'll take the risk on it <laughs> i have found like a massive gold ring right below penny range so i like digging them up you know just in case it's important to be able to recover targets fast for efficiency especially if you're digging up the penny signals you know you have to be able to pull them out fast so get out there and dig some signals everybody what are you guys doing <laughs> but uh let's dig up one more and then we'll end it so if you guys made it to this uh, point in the video i always appreciate a thumbs up on them i know i'm a little bit hustling today but like i said i'm about to be late for thanksgiving dinner just kidding but I'm not going to be late. I might be. <laughs> See right here. Right off the walking paths too. Quick tip for you guys. These like are possibly decent areas to check. You just never know where the good stuff's going to be. I don't know. One sounds a little different than a penny maybe yeah it's definitely bouncier come on right here this has got to be it it's not consistent on the target id like it's not a solid number but remember that solid numbers they're they're not everything you can find some good stuff on bouncy like uh numbers if it's giving you a good tone investigate it you know it's a good way to learn and that's why you don't dig up the bouncy signals <laughs> no i'm just kidding end it off right there with a piece of can slaw so hope you guys appreciate this little attempt at finding some stuff we did find some coins so if you at least get out there for 10 15 minutes per day you at least have the chance to find something you know you don't always have to metal detect for hours on end you could show up at a park and your first signal could be a gold ring so just stay opti optimistic out there, stay persistent, and before too long, the treasure will come. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.